Hey guys, so I am currently gathering everything together that I need for my hospital bag and I've gotten a lot of requests to show what I'm bringing for baby number three. I feel like I've gotten a really good handle on everything that I would need and everything that's practical to bring. I mean, I have a few things that are like not necessary, but I think they'll make our stay a little more comfortable. I'm currently 36 weeks pregnant. So we're on the final home stretch. I just had my doctor's appointment the other day and I'm already one to two centimeters dilated. So it is time to get these bags packed. First up, I guess without any further ado, I'm just gonna dive in and show you what the big announcement is. What I've been so eager to show everybody um, is the line that I've been designing. And this has been in the works for like months. So it's been very hard not to show anybody. This is the diaper bag. It's very similar to the half brand diaper bag, but there were a few things that I thought were missing on that one that I wanted to change. I like that this one comes in this like nude color rather than a pink or a blue. Um, it's showing up like a little bit pink on the camera, but it's actually more of like a nude. It's got the zipper enclosure up here that you can put things in. It also has little clips here that you can clip onto your stroller as well as a crossbody bag or a crossbody strap. It also comes with a little pouch. You can put whatever you want in here. And then I also included a little clip here right inside of the bag. So that way you can clip your keys and everything here without them getting lost. So when it opens up, this actually has a frame so it doesn't just loosely fall or anything. It is sturdy and it's gonna hold upright like really nicely. Um, and it's got a bunch of pockets inside on both sides and then on the back it's got this pouch as well as zippers on each side where you can put other little hidden compartments. It also has a changing pad. Um, one side is like the wiped down vinyl but then this side I really like because it's like the nice faux leather that's really easy to clean. This is the closest prototype to what we're gonna have. There's gonna be a few changes, a few little like tweaks and improvements. And then one more thing is it has a little snap here. So that way when you are holding it on your shoulder, the straps like sometimes when you have like a double strap, one of them will slide down. So that keeps it together. So that won't do that. So that is the diaper bag. And I'm like so obsessed. This thing is gonna hold everything that we need for a hospital bag. Next up, is the weekender bag. This can hold so, so much and it is just gorgeous. The main part of it is this um, beige canvas and then the bottom is a really pretty beige faux leather. The whole bottom will unzip if you want to take it off. And when you're traveling, what I would put down here it's like shoes or anything bulky like that. Like I said, the whole thing unzips, so you could just have just this top half if you want. Then on the front here, we have little zipper compartments. You can put your phone or your keys or whatever you want that you need quick access to. And then on the back, this is a trolley strap. You can keep it zipped to have it just as a pocket, or you can unzip it to put it through as a luggage strap on your suitcase. So it can just sit and stay secure on your suitcase. Inside, same thing, it has like the frame here, so it's nice and sturdy. These sides won't flop down. Um, it comes with a little carrying pouch, as well as a laptop sleeve, which I think I'm gonna modify this a little bit on the side, because it's a little long. And then it also has this little lanyard on the side here, so you can clip your keys so they don't get lost inside and then the canvas strap so you can wear it crossbody. There's also zippers and pockets inside of here. So you have plenty of storage to put whatever you need for any little getaway or anything like that. In my case, I'm taking this as my hospital bag. So I think everything that's gonna fit really nicely in here. Next up, I'm so excited about this, is my cosmetic case. This is nice and big. I like the cosmetic case to be a little bit bigger 
Um, sometimes the cosmetic cases just aren't big enough for me, especially if you want to put your makeup and your toiletries, which I plan to do. So the inside has a mirror. The only thing is I'm going to change it so that this mirror is a little bigger, but it's great for traveling and it can stand on its own. So that way, if you're traveling on a plane or whatever, in my case, I'm gonna be in the hospital, I might wanna touch up my makeup while I'm in the hospital bed and not have to get up and go to the bathroom. So I'm gonna be using this. And then it also has this insert here, which is actually going to be changed from the Velcro to snaps. So it's gonna have like magnetic snaps. But on this side, you can put makeup brushes. And on this side, it has a zipper, so you can put whatever you want in here, like face masks or anything like that. And then this is an insert here to organize all of your makeup and toiletries, but you can take it out. And all of these are um, readjustable, like you can change up whatever configuration you want for all of your makeup. So I'm really excited about that. It has a really nice handle here. So this is also gonna come with us to the hospital. The fanny pack. This, I'm not sure if it's gonna come with us to the hospital, <laughs> But it's definitely going to be really convenient for afterwards for when I'm just writing errands and I just want to take the necessities like keys, phone, wallet, and sunglasses. Um, so inside this first zipper pocket, and the zippers are like really nice and smooth. Um, it's got a bunch of little pockets for cards or cash in here. And then I also added a little mesh pocket here for sunglasses since obviously like a whole sunglasses case probably won't stay in here or won't fit in here but if you want them to be like separate and not have things banging against them and scratching them up then it also has a little back zipper here for anything that you want to keep separate or kind of on its own and the belt is canvas and adjustable i just love the color of it those are the first four of my line i'm so excited and like I said, it's been a lot of work and a lot of thought it has gone into it and there's still more thought going into it, but I wanted to at least show you now that the prototypes are getting pretty close to what I want. Um, if anyone has any suggestions for anything, please let me know. If anyone's interested in pre-ordering, let me know as well because I will be taking pre-orders soon and getting together an official launch date of these first four. And if you have suggestions for future products, because we're already working on what the next things will be. I'm going to talk about what is going in my hospital bag. So we can first talk about labor and delivery wise. I am taking my own labor and delivery gown. This is by Freedom Mom. I got the whole Freedom Mom um, labor and delivery kit. Um, it comes with a bunch of postpartum care stuff, but I'm not actually going to take any of the postpartum stuff with me to the hospital because they will provide a lot of that there and I want to just have that here for when I get home so if I need anything. But the gown is really, really soft and comfortable. I'm really excited to wear this because a lot of times the gowns in the hospital are just really scratchy. So. I wasn't even that excited about the gown when I ordered the kit, but then once it came, I was like, this is really nice. It also came with these little socks with the grippies, so these ones are a little nicer, or actually a lot nicer, than the hospital socks that they give you, at least at the hospital that I've delivered at before. They were like super loose, and just, I don't know, I hate the feeling of like loose socks that are like twisting around on my feet, so I think these will fit a lot better than those. Next up, I am bringing my fan. This I am so excited about. I know everyone's going to think that I'm so extra for it, but especially with COVID, I know they're encouraging people to wear masks during their labor and delivery, which sounds like hell to me. So you're already hot anyways, and then if, especially if I'm having to wear a mask, I think this is really going to come in handy. It, come, it has three settings, and it's rechargeable with like a USB, or you can do batteries. Um, and you can use these little feet to just clip onto the bar on the hospital bed or you can sit it on a table as a tripod and then I plan to use it afterwards to clip onto the baby stroller as well because we used to have another fan. I did not like our old one nearly as much as this one. Um, but we would use it for Bradley to clip onto his stroller in the summer because um, it would get really hot sometimes when we were like in amusement parks and stuff. So this will be really nice 
even for afterwards. I'm also taking my own water bottle. I know they give you one in the hospital, but I like this one. I like that it has like the little spout here and I always get super thirsty um, just all the time in general, but especially during labor, I know I'm gonna be really thirsty and like sending David constantly to get me ice cold water. So I just wanna have my own water bottle and keep it nice and cold. I'm bringing my own pair of these slipper flip flops. These are super comfortable and I know that they're not a necessity whatsoever, but it's just gonna make it feel like a little more homey for me and a little bit more <laughs> just comfortable. This is probably not for during labor and delivery, but for postpartum, I'm bringing my robe just in case. Actually, <laughs> David mostly used this last time. It gets kind of cold in the hospital and I was pretty much fine with everything that I had in my bed because the nurses are mostly taking care of the mom but David was a little chilly and this Barefoot Dreams robe is insanely comfortable so I'm gonna bring it for either one of us whoever wants to steal it first we'll get dips on that so that's coming in there another kind of postpartum thing are my nursing bras I got these on Amazon they were super cheap and came in a pack of three with like the blush the nude and black and um yeah i can link these as well because these were like really affordable compared to some of the other nursing bras and they're so comfortable i've had some other ones that i paid way more for that were not comfortable like they i just hated how tight they felt and that's like the last thing you want when you're pregnant or like right after you give birth is anything that's like tight on you and then we're getting into the really attractive stuff the postpartum underwear Got these in a set of two as well on Amazon in the nude and the black. They have like a high-waisted band. It's not like super, super restricting, but it just will kind of hold everything together <laughs> afterwards because, you know, you know. I don't know if I'm going to use this right away, but this is the postpartum girdle belt. Um, I'm still debating on whether to throw this in the bag or not, but... If I do feel like I want some extra support, this is what I will be using. I don't know if I want anything tight on me afterwards, so we'll just have to play that one by ear. Next up are these nursing pajamas. So I thought these were really nice. Um, this just comes right up like the flap here, and they are so, so soft, and I love like the nice blue color. They come with the shorts as well. So... I thought I could wear those either at night or even possibly on the way home. I could wear them with my postpartum leggings. So one of the options is to wear that blue pajama top, like nursing pajama top, with these leggings home. Or I might, if I don't feel like having anything that tight on, like as far as the leggings, I wear this dress, which is the same dress as the one I have on, but in this tie-dye blue color. Um, and then I also got these cute, like, white wedges or platform wedges to go with it because I wanted, like, something a little, with a little bit of a heel, but easy to walk in. And these are, like, super comfortable. These are at Amazon as well. And then for postpartum, I also got my pair of, like, super, super soft butter socks. I'll probably wear those at night with my PJs. Also for postpartum care, I'm bringing some of these women's postpartum Depends. I got a huge pack of them, just in case. Um, but I'm just bringing four with me, and I honestly don't even think that I'll need these four because they provide pretty much everything you need at the hospital for all of that down there. And I'm bringing four pads as well, just in case. And then for breastfeeding, I am bringing my new LV pump. I am so excited about this. It is a cordless, hands-free breast pump, and I am just so excited to try it. I um, have pumped with both my other kids as well, and it was just honestly like, I feel like it was harder than pregnancy, <laughs> and everything was pumping, trying to sit by yourself multiple times a day just sitting with that pump like stuck plugged into the wall <laughs> it was just so depressing so this I feel like is going to be a huge huge game changer
for me to be able to like walk around the house just with these guys in my bra pumping whenever I need to on trips whatever so I plan to show you everything about these once I get a chance to try them I'm super excited about it also bringing the milk savers so these you can just put in your bra just in case you're leaking it all um, so that way it catches anything especially in the beginning when there's like all the colostrum which is the liquid gold um, you want to make sure that that does not go to waste um, so these I'm anxious to try as well because I've never used these for my other ones but I know that whenever I leaked I was like oh just wasted all that milk also bringing the Lansano Soothies gel pads I have not tried these yet either but I know like especially when you first start breastfeeding again your nipples are just really sensitive and like not really used to all of that so you gotta kind of take care of them um, I'm also bringing nipple cream um, and this is really important and to do it before they get bad like do it right off the bat just kind of like chapstick for your for your nipples because you don't want to wait till they're already like cracking and bleeding and yeah and I'm also bringing some of these disposable breast pads just in case I need those for any kind of leaking that may be going on my milk for the other two didn't come in super heavy at first but I feel like this one I want to be a little more prepared because even right now at 36 weeks I'm already having like my nipples leaking so I'm like I'm wondering if like there's gonna be a lot of milk coming in TMI I know also bringing my liquid gold um, breast milk supplements so I haven't tried these before but I have tried other breast milk supplements and like to help produce more milk uh, during my other babies and so this one I've heard really good things about so I'm anxious to try it and see if it does help so I'll go ahead and start taking that like as soon as he's born Just then as far as techie stuff I'm bringing my little Manfrotto tripod this guy is super convenient he just opens up and you can stand him on the table or you can hold him and vlog um, this is a little adapter for my phone that comes off and I can also put my vlogging camera on there which is what I'm using right now um, so that will be really convenient for any pictures because we can't have a photographer there or anything like that so we're gonna have to try to figure it out ourselves I'm also bringing um, the portable charger. It's not in here right now because I was using it today. But the port my portable charger goes in this case. And then I also have extra cords in here. Um, I ordered an extra long 10-foot cord uh, for my iPhone. And then I also have the... I guess this is a micro USB. This is used to charge the vlogging camera and also the fan. I'm trying to think if it's used for anything else. I think that's it. But with those two chargers, I think we'll be set. This little case is for all of the SD cards for the camera. And I have a couple more cards coming just in case any of them fill up. This case, I know it's empty right now, but it goes to my portable tripod, which my vlogging camera is on right now. So that guy is coming with us, as well as the little Bluetooth remote. For pictures so that way if we want to take some pictures all on our own don't have to ask the nurses or anything like that we can do that so then for toiletries and cosmetics all that fun stuff um, definitely bringing a hairbrush your hair gets a little rough during all of it so that's very important especially because I always shower afterwards um, definitely want to be able to brush my hair out also bringing under eye patches with the other ones I was just so swollen and retaining water I feel like everybody's is after having a baby and um, I feel like these might just kind of calm down some of the swelling and just make my face feel a little more soothed afterwards lip balm is a definite must because you're so dehydrated and also the hospital air is like so dry so I'm just taking my little mini I don't know if I'm saying this right Laneige lip balm I have a bigger one but I'm just taking my little travel size face wipes because I don't feel like <laughs> trying to do all of my skincare there I just want to be able to like clean my face off if I need to I'm also going to take my Kopari um, coconut rose water toner um, just to spritz my face if I feel like I know it sounds extra but if I feel like just 
being refreshed it really does make me feel a little more alive and like just human some scrunchies because like you don't want your hair in your face you want to be able to like pull it back and these are really nice so that way it doesn't put as bad of like a crease in your hair i'm going to use the pouch that comes in the weekender bag to put all of my jewelry and things like that in because a lot of times they make you take all your jewelry off um so this will be good just to keep all of my jewelry in one spot and safe so taking this dry shampoo um just to like refresh my hair until i get a chance to take a shower i don't know what the situation will be <laughs> if i'll even have enough energy to take a shower we'll see um and then just this little travel size powder play by big sexy hair this is like really nice to just put in the roots and just give your hair a little like volume i know a lot of people don't do their makeup when they're in the hospital but i plan to do it i've done it with both the other pregnancies um, for the labor and afterwards like after i took a shower i just wanted to like feel myself again so i'm not going to do like full glam but i'm just going to take a few things just to do a quick like 10 minute makeup um so all that stuff is not in here yet but that will be going in here um like right before so i have a little list of things that i'm going to throw in right before like my glasses um and all of the makeup and things that i need uh, i think they have toothbrushes there so i probably won't even bring my toothbrush because it's like my electric toothbrush um unless i remember to throw it in the bag but if not i think they have them there so i'll be okay otherwise i'll send david down to like the gift shop or something to get one then for the baby bag he actually does not have too much stuff we're gonna bring a few diapers i'm just bringing four diapers um and then a little mini pack of wipes just in case but they usually provide these at the hospital so i don't even think we'll need these but i'm just taking them just in case i'm gonna bring some hand sanitizer because you always want to make sure especially right now during covid make sure that we are all clean and healthy i'm sure they have this as well but i want to have a mini one in there just in case then i'm going to take these baby bottles i'm not sure if he's gonna end up liking these but these are what we used for bradley this is the only bottle that we used for bradley and he really liked them they were the komotomo bottles i feel like they're very similar to like a natural brush shape and i just like how easy they are to clean there's like not a ton of components to it i had the dr browns at one point i think it's like when kylie was little and it was just i'm sure they're great but such a pain to try to clean all those parts so these have little vents so they do help prevent like any kind of um gassiness or anything like that so we were really happy with these i'm going to sterilize these and then throw them in the diaper bag then i have a few outfits to take pictures of him in at the hospital i thought this one was super cute it's this little cocoon that you just like step their little body in and it comes with a little hat and then it also came with a little name card that says, hello, my name is, so I'm gonna fill his name in here um, and have that all ready to go with us to the hospital. So I can just like lay that across him and get a picture of that. This one's the same thing, just another cocoon. This one's like these little blue watercolors and has this little hat that goes with it. So I think he'll be really cute. I have a couple of random hats. These were actually Bradley's when he was little. This one says no hair day. I'm guessing he probably won't have hair because neither one of my other kids had hair. And then this one is actually this like radiation and any kind of anything blocking, what is it called? Belly armor. So they make a whole line of a bunch of stuff that you can wear when you're pregnant and for babies. So that way they won't get any kind of like radio waves or anything like that I, I don't know if it actually works but i thought the hat was cute too so we'll take that with us just in case and then i'm super super excited to use this this next one is from newborn nest and they make little sets that you can take with you to the hospital to make their bassinet in the hospital look way cuter because you know all of them have like the standard really old school looking sheets and swaddle and hat that they put on them these come in a ton of different prints we got the ones with the little blue rainbows and sunshine and it comes with a gown and a little cap and then a coordinating sheet for the hospital bassinet so that way his bassinet there will look super cute and a little swaddle blanket as well 
So I'm excited to wrap him up in all of that. And then we have two coming home outfit options for him. Um, the first one comes with like little mittens and a hat and a bib. <laughs> and then this little like kimono style top. It's just like this organic cotton and pants. But this is newborn and it looked huge to me compared to all the other newborn clothes that I have. Um, I feel like this is probably going to be too big, but we'll see how big he is. Maybe he'll be huge. <laughs> and then the second option, which I really like, is this Burt's Bees outfit. This one with the little footies, and I love that it has like the little mitts built in that you can just fold the sleeves over, so that way they don't scratch your face and you don't have to fuss with the mitts coming off. And then I just bought this hat to go with it. This is by the brand Kite, and they make the best quality kids stuff. I love their stuff. Like this is just so soft. I want to buy all of their stuff because it just feels so good. So got this little hat to go with that. So I will probably put him in this, but we'll see just depending on how big he is, which one fits better. And then last, we're just taking his little letter board. It's just right here and we have his name on it and approximate <laughs> arrival date but we're going to take all of like the extra letters as well so that way we can put all of his birth information on here and his actual delivery date once we know so that will come with us as well so we can get some pictures with him with this i'm going to take a blanket i'm probably just going to take a light one because it's really hot and i don't i'll probably just take one of these like swaddle blankets to cover him up with and i think that will be good i can't really think of anything else if i'm thinking of <laughs> or missing anything please let me know. I'm trying to keep it really minimal. Next up, I'm going to be packing the nurse's baskets. I'm doing two baskets, one for our labor and delivery nurses and then one for our postpartum nurses. And um, just as like a thank you for all their hard work, especially right now during COVID, but like pretty much all the time and just as our thank you to them for helping us with our little one, bringing him into the world. And also working on the um, packing bags for siblings for Kylie and Bradley since they need an overnight bag for my parents' house. So there's not much going in there. Um, it's pretty obvious all the things that the siblings will need, but I'm also including some cute things in there as far as outfits for when we bring the baby home to meet them since they can't come to the hospital to meet him. Um, I have some cute outfits for them to wear when they first meet him to get some pictures together. And then I also have a craft for my mom to do with them, something for them to make for the baby. So I thought that would be kind of cute. Hopefully I can get that done before I go into labor and I will see you guys next time. Bye.